I knew I could leave for the NFL before I even started the season. I just had to play well. So um, I knew that if I put what I needed to do on, on film and, and on, on the tape, um, as far as playing on the field, um, that I have opportunity to play in the NFL. So once I knew that I had shown enough to go make that, make that, make that jump to the next level, I felt like it was an easy decision for me. You know, it, it's not going to impact you, but there are conversations about the limited experience you have as a starter at Ohio State. Did yes, people sir. talk to you about that? Yeah, they asked me about it, and then the way I answered it was just, um, I'd rather me learning from JT uh, instead of being thrown into the fire as a freshman or the registered freshman uh, more valuable because um, he, he was a fifth-year senior, three, three-time captain, and um, he was an all-time passing leader. He was you know, broke all a bunch of records. I broke a few of his, you know, give and take. But, just, um, just a few. Yeah, yeah just a few. <laughs> but, um, I saw some of those. Yeah, just, um, for me, it was just learning how to, to take wins and losses, to be able to watch how he experienced the highs and lows of being a quarterback, especially at Ohio State. Uh, it made that transition easier for me as a, as a one-year starter. And um, whether that's playing right away in the pros or, or for me uh, learning from behind a guy who's been there as a veteran, um, either way, whenever I'm my numbers call, I'll be ready to play. What was the toughest thing for you in taking over for a guy like JT Barrett who had a lot of success? Was it the offense? Just getting out there doing it was it yeah. was the leadership component being more vocal and being able to kind of stand up and yeah. to be the guy um definitely just i felt like the biggest thing was this watching him for so long and then having to be right now it's your team right and I, i've been watching for so long i kind of like how to relearn how to to be a leader again yeah. relearn how to be a quarterback because as as the backup you don't want to overstep the starter yeah and um i didn't want to to chip at his, his leadership or make him inferior to me even though i knew that i compete with him but um you know it definitely took me a little bit in time through the off season and, and a couple of games into the season to find my voice again to be able to lead a team and um, i definitely learned how to to get back to that as the season went on but um as far as playing you know uh, from from day one i from the first game i knew that i had all the skills and i could yeah. do it i just had to prepare mentally for it and i was ready it's uh, it's interesting you say that because I got a call game earlier than a little bit later, and yeah. like that was one of the things I noticed just in talking to you. I was like, oh, Dwayne, he's really growing up. They, they <laughs> talked to the coaches, and they were like, yeah, yeah, like he was kind of this guy who wanted to lead by example, and now he's doing both. He's leading by example, then also calling to his teammates, look, this is what we've got to do. This is what I need out of you. Yeah. And then that really blossomed and matured. Uh, I've told Bruce all week, you're my number one quarterback prospect in this draft. I think you're going to be the first quarterback taken, uh, or should be. Um, <laughs> we'll but, see. But, but it's really because of this. Like, you process and you find the outlet and you work through your progression. Like, all that's going to translate with your talent over the NFL level really, right, really right, well. Right. Yeah. Talk to me about what Ryan Day and how he kind of helped prepare you with, with your system and how it's going to translate. So him, being from the pros, it was always NFL professional, like, taught as we did things uh, throughout the offseason getting ready for this season and um biggest thing was we worked on situational football being able to know where the check down is knowing the reads and um that's really important as far as playing quarterback and people take that for granted because it's third and ten why didn't you force the ball down the field it's a right. check down so you got to know the situations and we watch film with two minute drills and watch film on uh, four minute drives and things like that and you know the biggest thing he taught me was just to, to know my situations know how to manage the game and make the plays when the plays need to be made and that's just the biggest thing that he taught me